everybody. It is Tuesday, May 29th. It is the Tuesday following Memorial Day. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I know I did. Uh, and it's been the better part of a month since I've recorded one of these and sort of touched base with everybody. I'm at what, 22 weeks now on my grow in here, my transition. And I've got all my gray here and here, showing it off, lots underneath, everywhere, and uh, made lots of notes for myself to go over. Oops, some weird hair sticking out there, some crazy curls. Wouldn't be curly hair if they didn't go all over the place now, would they? Um, anyway, big news that I haven't talked about in any of these videos I've been holding off, but now that Victoria Marie has made her announcement, um, I've talked a little bit about it on some of the Facebook groups that I am the associate producer on Gray is the New Blonde, and I'm thrilled to be involved with this project. It's a documentary that is the absolute love of Victoria's life, other than her honeyman, Dave Nelson. Uh, it's her passion, uh, and I am so thrilled to be a part of that and helping her see this passion up onto the big screen. It's really exciting for me. I'm a film editor. I've been editing for almost 30 years, but I've really wanted to dip my toe into producing, and this was just a great fit. I mean, it just couldn't have been better. So, uh, you know, we're... We're helping each other and we're having a great time. Uh, this weekend we had the pleasure of meeting and uh, filming Lorraine Massey, who for people like me, Curly Girls, we all know who she is. She's the writer of the uh, Curly Method Handbook and she has a new book out called Silver Hair Handbook. So she's promoting that and she is just you know, a goddess for those of us with curly hair and also for those of us with silver hair because she's also a silver sister. So this was, that was just a, an awesome experience to get a chance to meet her and spend some time with her. And she could not have been lovelier. It was just an awesome experience. And I'm so excited that I got to be a part of that. Um, what else is going on? You know, my transition is going very nicely. One thing that I have done, um, in addition to adding biotin to my supplements that I take on a regular basis, is I added collagen. Somebody suggested that. And I really think that's helping my hair grow even faster. I'm going to have to get a haircut uh, probably in the next two or three weeks. And uh, we'll be cutting off more dye. And I really think that, the, that it's just growing like gangbusters now and that's super exciting for me. Um, I have not had any negative comments. Everything's been great. I just, you know, I don't really cover up my gray at all at this point. I'm going to family functions, all, you know, everything and I, the more I go out, the more I do things where I'm around people who haven't seen it before, the more comfortable I am so that the next time something comes up, I'm just like, eh, I don't care. Uh, it's all good. So that's been just great. Um, I, I, I'm really surprised that this has not been as difficult a process as I psyched myself up for because I really thought it was going to be awful and it just hasn't been. It's been illuminating. It's been life-changing. It's been really, really cool. So uh, anybody who's on the fence about this, you know, I, I just think that you know, life is about challenges. It's about doing things, shaking things up, uh, there, you know, and it, it's just, and doing what makes you happy, not what you think other people want you to do. And so if you're really, if you're sitting on the fence, I say, just try it and see how you like it. Cause it's the easiest thing in the world to change if you don't like it. So, uh, um, other than that, I tweaked my my hair routine the other day and I'm really happy with it. I, my hair was starting to get really flat and I thought, especially at the roots, and I think that um, I was just using too much of not the right products. Um, I think, I mean, my products in general were right, but 
application and maybe just not quite the right balance of stuff and I decided to make a little tweak and all of a sudden my hair is so much softer you know I, I do like to get the cast on it and then scrunch out the crunch but if I get too much of a cast and I don't like the cast up at the roots because that's really hard to scrunch it out when you start working at the roots that's where you get frizz so I made a few little tweaks um, all the products that I had already um, except for one thing that I bought um, but it's just a combination I'm using uh, I'm using the suave essentials coconut essentials conditioner to co-wash trying to co-wash all the time and as a runner when I get super sweaty I really want to reach for that shampoo even sulfate you know even though it's sulfate free uh, and I'm trying not to do that um, and seeing how I how my hair feels afterwards when I get that sweaty and that the trying to see if the conditioner can really make me feel good and um, so I'm sticking with that I'm using the suave essentials to co-wash and then I kind of leave it on while I'm soaping down my body and I have the Maui Moisture uh, Curl Quench Leave-In Conditioner. I had some of that. So I'm putting just a like a dime size spot of that on after I've after I've like massaged my scalp with the Suave Essentials. And I'm mixing that in with the Suave Essentials to leave it on while I soap my body, shave my legs, and then just rinse that all out, even though the Maui moisture is a leave-in. I'm just rinsing everything out. Boom. Done. Just squeeze out the moisture out of my hair. Some people love to and swear by having soaking wet hair when they put their styling products on. That does not work for me. My hair gets super frizzy when I do that. So I squeezed out the water, got my uh, microfiber towel, scrunch, 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 got all of the drippiness out of my hair so that it was wet down. And then from there, I, oh, another new product for leave-in now is the Not Your Mother's um, Naturals. It comes in a, like a mustard color with pump. It's their leave-in. And it's because it's not the pink like I used to use. And I think that's what was flattening my hair was the pink. I was using that as a leave-in conditioner. So I stopped using that as a leave-in conditioner. I'm using the spray on stuff afterwards. And oh my God, does that stuff make between them. Mappy moisture and the spray on my hair feels so soft. So I'm spraying that on. Then I broke out some old Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, put that on, scrunch, and then I take my trusty Kinky Curly Curling Custard, which I love, love that, love, 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 love that stuff. And I'm using, oh, I don't know, maybe about a quarter size, half dollar size on each side going around and then scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. Now that stuff I make sure I do not put that on my roots because that just makes my roots hard as a rock. So I'm, I'm coming from like here down with that. And then that is what gives me my curl cast. So then from there I took a couple of clips, clip up one side like this, the other side like this and put my makeup on so that keeps my hair out of my face and it's also pulling it back away which I like like that not just down and so I'm leaving those clips in putting my makeup on getting dressed so those clips stay in for 10 or 15 minutes take out the diffuser and I start diffusing and with the clips in just sort of going around all around starting my diffusing and then take the clips off and really go for root volume at that point with the diffuser using it to push my hair up at the roots and that has been that's like really worked all of a sudden I just you know sort of messed around with that over the weekend and I was like I think I've got it you know you, you we're all trying to find that perfect combo and I think it may not be perfect but oh, I'm really close I'm getting there so um and I'm rocking my new Gilmore Girls t-shirt too, which makes me happy. Very, very happy. So uh, anyway, um, that's it for now. Um, it's been a good month. I hope you guys have all had a good month. Um, please subscribe, like, tell everybody, uh, you know, get the word out and get the word out about Gray is the New Blonde because it will be coming to you sooner than later and uh, I want to do anything I can to promote it. 
So that's it for now and stay zesty.